Mr. Hitler If you think we're on the run We are the boys who will stop your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler Morning, Pag. Any letters? Uh, only two, sir, and they're both marked delayed by enemy action. Good gracious me. <laughs> you realise, Pag, that we've, we haven't had any letters from head office for over two and a half weeks. Goodness knows how many documents have been lost in air raids. Shall I set up the Lewis gun, sir? No, 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 that's, uh, that's Wilson's job. Where is he, by the way? It's quarter past nine. He's not usually late. No, he isn't. I wonder what's happened to him. Perhaps he's been captured. What? <laughs> a, a Nazi paratrooper may have landed in the night, hidden himself and catched him on the way to work. Don't believe you. <laughs> I'd better do it myself. See your letters on the phone. Yes, sir. Hello, Swallow Bank. No, no, I'm not the manager. Hang on, please. It's for you, Mr Manring. Long distance, head office. Oh, all right. You see to the gun, will you? Yes, sir. <clears throat> hello, good morning, sir. Ah, hello, Manning. West here, head office. Oh, yeah, yeah uh, but uh, stop fiddling with that gun. <laughs> stop fiddling with that <laughs> Hello, Manning. Are you uh, there? Yes, yes. Uh, hello, sir, yes. Here. I'm bringing you, because I'm afraid some of our letters may have been destroyed by enemy action. Oh, no. <laughs> Put that gun down! Put that gun down, I say! <laughs> What's happening? Hello. What's happening? Nothing, sir, nothing, nothing. Why? I thought the bank was being robbed. No, 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 no. <laughs> Everything's under complete control here, sir. Well, I won't waste time, Mandarin. Mean, this call is extensive. I just wanted to tell you that I shan't be able to send anyone to replace Wilson for several weeks. So you just have to manage the best you can. What? I said I shan't be able to send anyone to replace Wilson for several weeks. Why? Where's he going? What do you mean, where's he going? You know, as well as I go, where he's going. He's taking his manager to our Eastgate branch. He applied for the job ages ago, didn't he tell you? He's what? Well, I wrote you about it last month. Well, I never got the letter. Oh, it must be one of those letters that was destroyed in an air raid. Anyway, you just have to manage the best you can. Don't forget there's a war on. I'll keep in touch. Goodbye. You're right, Mr. Memory. Wilson's been made the manager of the Eastgate branch. Oh, I know that. Yes, Mum's ever so pleased. <laughs> Hello, Manring here. Uh, Pritchard here, adjutant HQ. Oh, yeah. Uh, good morning, sir. I just wanted to tell you that Sergeant Wilson's commission has come through. <laughs> commission? <laughs> Captain Square would like him to take up his duties with the Eastgate platoon as soon as possible. The Eastgate platoon? I expect what? you'll miss it. Decided who you're going to promote in his place yet? Well, I, 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 well, let me know as soon as you can. I must say, Sergeant Wilson deserves his promotion. He's a good chap. Congratulating for me, will you? Cheerio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mannering here. Oh, good morning, Mr. Mannering. Vicar here. <laughs> what are you going to tell me about Wilson? That he's been made Archbishop of Canterbury? <laughs> Really, Mr. Manring. Um, I'm sorry, Vicar. I'm, I'm not quite myself this morning. Oh, dear, aren't you? Well, well look, I, I'm afraid I've got rather a confession to make. Well, when I say confession, of course, I don't mean that sort of confession. Because, of course, that's mostly for the RCs. Oh, dear. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that the whist drive that is supposed to take place in the church hall on Tuesday next is uh, tonight. Really? So, would you mind cancelling your parade? Otherwise, I'm going to look a bit of a fool. All right, Vicar. Oh, how sweet of you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, goodbye. Hey! You 
you do look red, Mr. Mount. Shall I open the other window? <laughs> no, 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 I'm all right. I've just had a bit of a shock, that's all. In fact, I've had several shocks this morning. But I I've never seen you look like this before. Well, never mind that. Now, here, as soon as you've got time, I want you to get on your bicycle and go around to every member of the platoon and tell them that the parade is off tonight. Yes, sir. And then get these orders typed out and duplicated and take a copy of them to each member of the platoon. Morning. Yes, right? Sir. Go and get on with the work. Morning. Morning, Frank. Morning, Uncle Arthur, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Morning, sir. What time do you call this? Uh, well, actually, sir, it's uh, <clears throat> 20 to 10. Where have you been? Well, I've been doing a little shopping. I bought this. Do you like it? It's for <laughs> officers only, of course. Uh, <laughs> and I bought some of these things as well. I don't know which I like best, the cloth ones or the brass ones, but I rather understand that you're not supposed to wear the brass ones with the battle dress. Judas. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Judas! <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, but I don't quite follow you. You follow me all right, Wilson. You've been following me for years. <laughs> Waiting to step into my shoes. Well, I don't want to step into your shoes, sir. You must have applied for the Seascape job weeks ago and you never said a word to me. Thought you knew about it. Rubbish! But surely head office must have wrote to you about it. The letters got destroyed. Well, that's not my fault, is it? And what about this? This, this, this? this commission? Yes, well, Captain Square probably sort of overstepped the mark a little bit, but uh, he's very keen to have me, you know. In fact, he said he was most impressed with what I'd done with the platoon. With what you'd done with the platoon? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, he, he's had his eye on me for some time now, you know. Just because you went to some tapney hitney public school? Yes, well, I wouldn't call Meadow Bridge that. Meadow exactly. Bridge. <laughs> you know where I went, don't you? Eastbourne Grammar. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, don't be so patronising about it. I had to fight like hell to get there. And I had to fight even harder to stay there. Well, it's all to your credit. <laughs> you never fought for anything in your life. Brought up by a nanny, father something in the city. All you had to do is just, just sit back and let everything come to you. Yes, well, it wasn't really quite as simple as all that. I've been the manager of this branch for over ten years now. I ought to have gone on to better things years ago. Yet every time I've gone for an interview for a promotion, it's always been the same thing. What school did you go to? As soon as I told them, that was that. Well, I'm sure that that didn't really influence them. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm sure it wouldn't influence you. All they wanted to ask you, you, you you'd say, Oh, I, I was at Meadowbridge, you know. One of the better public schools. Small, but rather good. Yes, well, there were actually over 300 boys there, you know. Not only have I made a success of this branch, but I've taken a lot of, sh sh a lot of shopkeepers and, uh, uh, up by the bootlaces and, and turned them into a crack platoon. Yes, well, I helped a bit. Did you? I show you how I value your help, both as a platoon sergeant and a chief clerk. <laughs> Give me 252, will you? When I sat at this desk this morning, and saw the web of intrigue that was unfolding before my eyes. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't believe it. I've never... Hello, Jones. Get round to the bank here as soon as you can. Spike! <laughs> <laughs> now, until you're relieved by head office, you will assume the duties of chief clerk. Pardon? <laughs> I said, your chief clerk has from today. Do you think I've got the brains for it? I'm not sure, sure if Wilson has, you have. But I, I don't talk posh like Uncle, uh, Mr Wilson. <laughs> Never judge a book by its cover, Pike. Come in. Mr Manry, how's Mr Wilson? Look, I can't stop long, you know. The offal's just arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a queue a mile long, and the boy Raymond, he's looking after the shop. Yes, all right, this won't take a minute. Get, get on with the work, Pike. Yes, sir. Now, come at it, Jones. Listen very carefully to what I'm going to say. Lance Corporal Jones, I hereby promote you to sergeant. What do you think of that? <laughs> you think that's wise, sir? Do you think that's wise? <laughs> that's the last time you'll look down your nose at me and say that super silly tone of voice, do you think that's wise, sir? <laughs> well, what do you think of that, Jones? Jones? <laughs> oh, Mr. Manrin, I don't know what to say. This, this is quite extraordinary. I, Promoted a sergeant? I never believed this had come true. And now to think, after all these years, I'd be able to stand in front of those brave boys with three stripes on every arm. <laughs> <laughs> not just one, not two, but, but three. You see the sort of men I'm promoting? Brave, true, loyal to the last. <laughs> Mr. Manning, there's just one thing. What about Mr. Wilson? We can't have two sergeants. No, Mr. Wilson is leaving us. He's going to hire things. 
He's been promoted to second lieutenant <laughs> in the Eastgate platoon. Oh, oh dear, I... Oh, oh, that's marvellous. That's... I shall miss you, you know, Mr Wilson. Well, nobody deserves promotion more than you do, and I shall try and live up to the high ideals <laughs> and, and, and to the standards of loyalty that you have put up us. <laughs> thank you very much, Joseph. Very kind of you, thank you. Oh, just one thing. Could you put the promotion down, please, officially? R write it down in writing, if you would, didn't mind, sir, so that I can have something solid to show people in the future years to come. Yes, certainly. Thank you, sir. Uh, this... This. is to confirm, confirm. Uh, that you have been you have promoted been promoted to the rank of sergeant, sergeant of the 1st platoon of the warmington on sea home guard home guard right <laughs> right. <laughs> right now i'll have this typed out yes, sir. and i'll put your name at the top and sign it thank you very much sir. all right i'll get back to the shop now mr. all right josie i'll show you out shall yes, I? Now, no right. no need to do that thank you very much mr mannering all right, thank Jones, you mr thank you. wilson all right Jones, come I'll, get, on, I'll get back to the shop now yes you do that <laughs> <laughs> you go get, back to the shop yes i'll go back to the shop yes, now that's bye, right, bye. you go back to the shop that's it <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Mannering. Yeah. Miss King says, can you come at once because she's got a query of a customer? Pack. <laughs> yes, sir. Type those orders out and duplicate them and see that every member of the platoon gets a copy and tell them that the parade is off for tonight. Yes, sir. Right. This is to confirm that you've been promoted to the rank of sergeant of the first patrol. <laughs> Why has he promoted everybody else to sergeant and not me? <laughs> oh, well, at least I am chief clerk. <laughs> I do wish Mr. Mannering wouldn't keep using my drawers. <laughs> He hasn't arrived yet. Oh, my dear Mrs. Pike, whatever is the matter? It's nothing. But I did want to see Mr. Mannering. Mrs. Pike, please tell me what this is all about. It's Arthur. He's deceived me. I beg your pardon? He's been made manager of the bank over at Eastgate. And I thought he'd be going over there every day on the train. But he's joined the Eastgate platoon. He's been made an officer. And he's going to live over there. Oh, of course you'll see him again, Mrs. Pike. Eastgate's only ten miles away. It might just as well be a hundred miles away. Oh, now, don't you worry, Mrs. Pike. After a while, he'll come back to you and he'll say, all these weeks I've longed for the moment when I could take you in my arms <laughs> tell, you, tell you how much I've missed you. <laughs> what is it, Verger? Well, I, um, I, um... Oh, I'm sorry, Vicar. <laughs> sorry, but... Well, I, um... Uh... No. Tell me what it is you want. This is personal. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> Just state your business. Well, you see, I'm only in the bell tower. I, I can't push it on my own. Well, I only want it moved a few feet just away from the wall where the damn patch is. Well, I still can't manage it on my own. Oh, well, Mr. Mannering's men will be here soon. Get one of them to help you. Very well, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I should live to see the day when His Reverence will become a victim of wartime immorality. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry, Mrs. Pike. I'm sure everything will turn out all right in the end. Evening. Oh, Mr. Mannering, can't you do something about Arthur? I'm afraid it's out of my hands now, Mrs. Pike. Oh, I don't know what's come over him. Ambitions turned his head. Oh, I'm the sergeant.
Sloppy, very sloppy indeed. Now listen to me. There's going to be a few changes around here, you understand? I'm in charge now, and you can have it the easy way, or you can have it the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> the easy way is not very easy, and the hard way is very, very hard. <laughs> now, let's have a look at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up straight, bike! You're as peely wally as a rotten banana. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God for you. You'll have to pull your socks up while you know or you'll be out in your ear. I'm not carrying any passengers in my platoon. Ah, uh -huh. I'm watching you, Walker. Just put one foot wrong and I'll have you. Do you get me? A last warning, Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Unless your drill improves, I'll take that stripe away. <laughs> now, back up your ideas, all of you. And remember, my name's Sergeant Fraser. Fraser, spelled B A S T A R D. <laughs> That's not really how you spell it, is it? Hey! <laughs> The vicar says you've got to give me a hand with the harmonium. Ho, oh, oh. ho! Me give a hand it, with harmonium. It's got to be shifted. Eh? Or perhaps you'd like me to tell the others what you've just been saying. <coughs> <laughs> All right, where is it? In the bell tower. Come on. You better take your jacket off as well. Oh, it's hot work shifting that harmonium. Right. A ten. Cut. Right. Now that I've been made up the sergeant, I don't want you lot to worry about me being too regimental. <laughs> <laughs> now, for instance, when I call to roll, if there's someone who's not here and he's a regular customer of mine, and he spends, say, what, two pounds or more a week, I'll mark him here, present. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, <laughs> if I find someone's not cleaned his brasses, I'll overlook it. Always providing, of course, he buys the metal polish off me to clean it with. Excuse me, Mr. Walker. Yeah. Excuse oh, well, me. <laughs> Could you give me a hand to shift the harmonium? Yeah, oh, no, I don't know about that. I mean, not now I've been made a sergeant. I mean, uh, you know, I don't think I ought to do that sort of thing. Did you know I was made a sergeant? Very nice. Won't take a minute. <laughs> oh, right. Hello. Better take this jacket off. Get my nice new stripes dirty. It's very dusty up in that bell tower. You are, I really can't understand why Captain Manning initially promoted me to be a sergeant. I mean, I'm not sure that I can carry out the duties, but of course, I should do my best. I'm sure you will, Mr. Godfrey. <laughs> Excuse me, I just have to wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Pikey. Yeah, you seen Mr. Godfrey? Yeah, he's in there. Has he got his first aid kit with him? Yes, why? Well, I cut my finger on my rifle belt. I wanted to put a bandage on it. <laughs> right, that was a good job well done, Taffy. God, I'm not here to share furniture. Especially now, now that I must... <laughs> hold on, hold on! <laughs> Blimey! I really think it must be a mistake. Well, of course it must, Mr. Godfrey. You can't have two sides, Joe. I'm going to see Mr. Mattery. There must be some mis... Gosh! I've been good, Captain Marin. I still as you say. Right, now then. Platoon. Platoon. Blind me. I really think you ought to speak to Mr. Wilson, you know. I'm having nothing more to do with it, Vicar. I wash my hands of the entire affair. 
Captain Manry? Yeah. I've fallen the private in. What shall I do with the sergeants? <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Ah. Well, uh, I'm just off, sir. I thought I'd get the uh, 9.30 to Eastgate. Why are you going now? It's only Wednesday. You don't take up your position in Eastgate until Monday. Yes, but I know. They've been having a lot of difficulty over there, sir. You see, the manager's been called up. And Mr West from the head office is going to stay on in Eastgate in order to show me the ropes. Mr. West of head office, eh? We are honoured. <laughs> Why are you travelling in uniform? Oh, I don't know, just sort of, uh, kind of handy, you know. Rubbish! <laughs> You're travelling in uniform so that you can parade up and down the platform looking for salutes. And why not? You did. <laughs> How do you mean? The day you got your new uniform, I followed you. You followed me? Yes, I did. And I watched you go up and down the high street three times looking for a serviceman to salute you, and in the end you had to make do with a sea scout. <laughs> say what you have to say and go. Well, I've just come to say goodbye, sir. I wondered if you'd like to come up to the station and see me off. I certainly would not. Our relationship ends here and now. Oh, really, sir? After all we've been through together, for heaven's sake. Can't we let bygones be bygones? Don't try to soft soap me. Well, goodbye. If I did look for salutes, at least I did them properly. That salute you just gave me was rotten. <laughs> I think you've done very well these last three days. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. You know, we had thought of promoting you to manager several times over the last few years. Oh, really? Oh, yes, if it hadn't been for marrying, you'd have had your own branch ages ago. Oh? What did he say? Oh, he only said that, in his opinion, you didn't show enough initiative. Oh. Oh, did he? Mm. Well, you certainly proved him wrong. And speaking for myself, I think you'll make an excellent manager. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much indeed. Well, it's nearly one o'clock. Yeah. I just closed the bank and get back to London. Uh, I expect you're busy with the Home Guard being Saturday afternoon. That's right, yes, yes. Here are the keys. Ah, thank you. From Monday morning, Wilson, you will be sitting in that chair. At nine o'clock, you will enter this office and take your place at that desk as manager. How do you feel about it? Uh, awfully nice. <laughs> Good luck, Wilson. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much indeed. Morning. Good morning. What a lovely day. Good morning. See you in a moment or two. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Boyle. I've got several rather important items for you to deal with, sir. Oh, well, all in good time, Mr. Boyle, all in good time. I'd rather like to have a little word with the staff first. Hmm. Very well, sir. Right. Mr. Wilson would like to have a word with you. Will you all come into the office, please? Yes, I thought it might be rather a nice idea if we were to have a little chat together so that we might all get to know each other, you see? Yes, of course. Right, uh, come along then. Do what you can. That's it. That's right. Right. Now, are we all here? Well, <clears throat> now, ladies and gentlemen, before we, uh, before we start work today, I thought it might be quite a nice idea just to meet you and have a little word together. Now, I would like you to, to understand that I like to work in a nice, quiet, relaxed kind of atmosphere. Do you understand? Now, if you have any worries, I don't want you to be upset at all, but just come along to my office, tap on the door, and as long as you see the name, A. Wilson, manager, 
I want it to give you a feeling of security and confidence. So just tap on the door, come in, and I shall be always here to see you and look after you, all right? Right, but now there are one or two little... Th uh, there are the sirens, oh. Mr Wilson. Yes. We'd better go down to the shelter. Yes, I suppose we have. Yes. Oh, all right, well, well, don't panic! Don't panic! Don't panic! It's perfectly all right. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. <laughs> we can do those things in the shelter, can't we, Mr Boyle? Ah, come along, my dear. What a very pretty blouse you're wearing. Absolutely <laughs> lovely. Where did you get that? <laughs> I hope Uncle Arthur's all right. Oh, he'll be all right. The devil looks after his own. <laughs> after all, they haven't had one single bomb on Eastgate yet. Setting, sir. Well, of course, the bank was completely gutted. Well, how are you going to carry on? We're not. We're going to close down the Eastgate branch and put all the business over to Hastings. Must be the shortest appointment in history. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you mean? Well, at nine o'clock, the poor chap was manager of a bank, and at five past, he had no bank to manage. <laughs> <laughs> How's he taking it? Oh, you can never tell with Wilson. He's not the sort of chap to show much emotion. Yes. Well, we must all carry on doing our bit, Barrowing. Yes. Yes, certainly we must, sir. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Hello, Wilson. Come Hi. in. I've just had head office on the phone. Oh. They're very sorry. Ah. And may I say how very sorry I am, too? Thank you, sir. It's most unfortunate. Yes, it is. Yes. Most unfortunate, yes. No, 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 no don't sit down. I'm, I'm rather busy. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a word with uh, GHQ, and they're quite agreeable for you to keep your rank. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Get them sewn on by tonight. That's all. 